In this video, I will introduce J+. J+ is a parametric tool designed specifically for Energy+. It uses the standard toolkit provided by Energy+, and requires only the text input files to work. It is not uh, as visual as Design Builder or Ladybug tools, and lacks the ability to create models in the first place. But it does give you the power to create and run large parametric pro uh, projects very quickly, thanks to its simplicity. So how does it work? In the previous re videos, we have looked at running shoebox analysis in Design Builder and in Energy Plus directly. If you think about the process, they all involve making modifications to the model, uh, running the simulations, and then comparing results. This iterative process is uh, necessary when you are analyzing or debugging the models. But uh, when you want to test many different design options, especially where multiple design parameters are involved, such manual process becomes too cumbersome. Uh, J plus automates the process. It takes the model input files and the definitions of your parameters and compile them into different simulation cases, run these simulations, and aggregate the results you're interested in into nice tables ready for you to peruse or present. We shall have a look at and see how quickly we can set up a project and get some results today. Let's use a very simple example to see how quickly we can get from downloading JE Plus to having the results back. There are some prerequisites. I have uh, Energy Plus V8.9 and, uh, and the Java Runtime Environment version 8 installed. The model was created in, in Design Builder. And the Energy Plus model file exported and placed in a folder together with uh, the weather file we are going to use. These are the parameters we are going to include in this uh, example. So there are orientation, heating and cooling, uh, side points. And those are the results we are interested in. That's uh, Those are annual heating load and cooling load and the total discomfort hours. Okay, so let's start. First, I go to jplus.org to download jplus. Okay, make sure you extract the contents, not, not run jplus directly from within the zip file. I'll copy the contents and put it on desktop. Okay, now I can go into the folder and uh, start J plus by double clicking on the jar file. The first time you run it, you see the splash screen. Okay, and it's the first time it asks you to uh, select the, uh, the energy plus executables so eight point nine yeah that's all fine you can save the configuration now I can start creating the project I'll select the weather file the shoebox model and I can see if this is indeed my shoebox model. Now I can start to add some parameters. The first one will be orientation. It's controlled by 
a field called a north axis in energy plus. That's our list of values. And we need to put that search tag into the model. And it's right here. See, north axis. It's in the building object. So replace the existing value with uh, the search tag. Okay, now we can add uh, the next one. It's a uh, heating set point. The value will be from uh, 18 at step 1 to 23. Got your values. And we need to put the heating set point search tag into the right place. And this time we need to find where it is. It's in a block somewhere. Let's search it. So it's in the in the heating side point schedule, so let's find where it is. So, so this is the actual ob object of the heating side point schedule, and you can see, on uh, so twelve is the set point setback temperature, and twenty two is the actual set point temperature. So, we need to put the search tag here to replace the current heating set point temperature. So there are a few places you need to replace. And that's it. And the cooling set point temperature is actually quite close by. So let's add a cooling set point. This time the value range will be from 24, step 1, to 28, let's say. We got five values there. And put the search tag in the place of uh, the current value. Okay, so this is the cooling side point schedule. Okay. So we have uh, made finished modify uh, defining the parameters and the modify uh, and the inserting the search tags into the model file. Now I can save the model, and the next thing I need to do is to do a test run. So I go to the execution tab and run the first job. And I'll just start running. I'll take no time at all. Okay. Now once it's finished, we can have a look at the results. So go to action, view results, go to output folder. This is uh, where the first uh, where the first result is. And uh, we're interested in this file. Right. So that's the that's the tabular output and we'll get collect uh, those uh, heating and cooling and discomfort hours from this table. The way to do it is go to result collection and use the CSV object and make a new one. And this is uh, for collecting a particular number from uh, the tabular report. Move this aside a bit. So the first field is from report and that's And your summary report from four field, that's entire facility. From table, we need to go down a bit to find the end use. So that's the table name. From column, we get uh, heating first, district heating. From row, it's heating. So this will 
identified that number to be collected by JE plus. We need to give it a header so we can so we will know what this column is once the table is generated and we'll name it as a heating. So J plus will put a number into a separate uh, CSV file in there. Now that's look good. We make a copy of this and uh, do cooling as well. So this trick cooling. You can copy and paste those names from uh, the uh, uh, from here. See, that's exactly what I've typed. So you could you can come here and and copy them, of course. So that's our cooling done. We made another copy. Now this time it will be discomfort. It's from the same report and uh, from the uh, same four field and uh, the table name will be different this time because uh, the discomfort hours are towards the end here. So from this table and the column is called facility hours and the row that there and we call it discomfort ours okay right so we have our result collection part defined as well now it's a good time to save the project I'll just call it a project. Okay. Now let's go go to the execution tab and validate a project. You can see it tells you okay the project looks all right and there are 240 different cases already included. Now we can now we can run it. We can run all the cases of the project. It's a very quick model, so it really shouldn't take very long. Okay, it's done. Here are some information of uh, what what J plus have done during the process. But let's look at the results. So we go to actions and view results. And this is the summary table we're looking for. So it's called all combined results. Open it. Here we are. This is the aggregated results table J plus produce after running the parametric project. You can see the job ID column is a string uniquely identify each case. And then you can see the weather file is used in the simulation and the model file and the parameter values for each case. The following columns are what Energy Plus have uh, done. So they all appear to have finished successfully and with some warnings and no errors. If you do see some uh, errors, then you need to go check your model and see why it doesn't work for certain parameter values. Okay, the let me hide this. The following columns are the results we're interested in. You can see the discomfort hours, the cooling and the heating load. And if we go if we add a filter, you can sort it and see the range. 
See, the discomfort hours in our case ranges from uh, five hours a year to nearly 2,000. So quite a breadth of a, of a range. And, uh, and the heating and cooling load, as uh, you can see, similar patterns. OK. So in the next video, we may discuss how to process this data and, and create some charts. Um, but before we finish, I just want to say I have deliberately used a very simple case in order to show the process quickly. These parameters are the easiest to change because they involve only one field in the energy plus input file. Things involves geometry will involve a bit more process to change. Uh, for example, the the depth of overhead or or the size of the window, and we'll cover them separately. That's it. Hope this will help you get started with J plus.